All right, we're here at my tiny worm bin, and this is gonna be the last time that we start this off because we are going to count the worms in here. And right now I'm just gonna kind of evaluate and see how much castings are in here and whether or not we are gonna be able to harvest this. No matter what, I'm counting the worms. I'm just, <laughs> I'm too impatient, I wanna know. So we'll just kind of dig around, and then after I've done this, we'll go outside and we'll start counting. This is some of the strawberry tops that we had put in there. And I'm actually seeing some good mite action in here. By good, I mean just a lot of mites. Now this bin was started 172 days ago at a vermin composting workshop class that I did at my local county extension office. And right here, you can kind of see the different size worms in here. And they said that they were going to give us 50 to 100 worms, and I've got to do a confession here. Um, I think I probably had fewer than that. I was the last person to receive worms, and I got a bunch of castings and bedding. And if you look at some of my early videos, I just did not find a lot of worms when I was digging through. But I kind of always kept to what they told me, 50 to 100. Now this feels very... Good. The moisture is excellent. I'm seeing a lot of castings in here, so I think we're going to be able to harvest. Not only count the worms, but harvest. And there are some bedding material, that kind of thing, still in here. And we'll use that. We'll use that when we redo this bin. I'm going to use the same bin, these same worms, and we're going to start all over. Like I said, it was 172 days, but we should be able to harvest castings much quicker than that because this population has grown significantly since we started, and we're going to find out exactly how much. Now the, it's had 22 feedings and you know, that makes out to about an average of 7.8 days between the feedings. And it was seven days since we last fed and actually 28 days since we last fed bedding. So we've been letting them attack the bedding and food. One thing that I did notice besides more mites than I'm used to seeing is a little bit of castings up here. Didn't find any worms outside the bin, of course, and didn't find them up on here. It's really dry. These castings are really dry, but they've been exploring a little bit more. And I don't know if that's because there's less bedding. I've been feeding less, that kind of thing. But these castings feel great. And, you know, everywhere I go, lots of worms, big old chunky one right there. So, all right, last corner. And then I think we're done with this portion of the video and we'll get to the fun part, which is the counting and just the last kind of look at all the worms that I'm finding in here. This is just amazing compared to when we started, how many worms are in here. I'm really curious to find out, really curious to find out. And I know a lot of you are too in the comments, a lot of, a lot of um, messages about can't wait till you start counting the worms. Let's kind of, let's do it already. And this is a banana peel stem. Um, there may be a worm inside, but these are kind of the last things to go when it comes to bananas. So, all right, I'm going to wrap it up here and let's get on with the counting. All right, we're here outside with my tiny worm bin. In the moment of truth, we are going to count these worms. I am so excited. So the first thing I'm going to do is dump them out carefully. I don't want to lose any over the side of the table here that I'm working on, but I'm outside because I want to use the sun to kind of help get them down low. And then I'm just going to pick them out as I push the castings. They should go down. From there, I'll be able to harvest them down. And as I do that, I'm going to take another little bin that I have right here, and I'll be putting them in there, along with a little bit of casting so they're not just bare. All right, I think I got most of them out most of the castings out. So now I'm just gonna start picking out worms and that's how windy it is. And count. Now here I just kind of go around the sides. They're going to be away from the sun and the dryness. They're going to just keep trying to push in. I'm finding all kinds of cocoons as we do this. 
and where I can, I'll take those out. And I'm finding teeny tiny worms too, and those count. There's 19. Keep thinking I'm finding worms over here, but oh, 21. Haha, <laughs> one tried to get away. Now this part's boring because there's not going to be a whole lot in here because they're all trying to get down right now. But when we get to the bottom, you'll see there's just going to be a ton of worms down there. All right, 70, that's pretty good. One hundred. One hundred. Oh, I guess one here. Zero. 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 One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred, three hundred, three hundred, yay! All right, three hundred. Four hundred, four hundred, four hundred. Woo! Camera's still going good. Still going, 51 minutes. Ooh. That's it's gonna be one boring thing if you don't <laughs> spice it up. Oh, well, yeah. Thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. Shoot. You hopped up like four thirty-seven. Four thirty-eight. Four thirty-nine. Four forty. Now we're on four forty. Okay, four seventy-nine. Four seventy-nine. <laughs> oh man, 479. That is incredible. All right, so the at the end of this, there were 479. We started with a hunt, uh, 50 to 100, and we ended up with 479. And to tell you the truth, I think we started off with less than that, but 50 to 100 is what they said they were giving us. I was at the end, I got the least amount. 479 good job a little worm bin very proud of this bin so there you go how long did it take us one hour even yeah one hour and 49 seconds one hour to count 479 worms out of this tiny worm bin good job now what i'm gonna do because i have a whole lot of cocoons Probably in here and definitely in here, I'm going to sift this out and then we will also bait it out. And you probably saw some strawberry tops, that kind of thing. But this worm bin did fantastic. Very, very proud of it. Very, very proud of it. So I hope everybody is having a great day. My back is killing me. But happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.